Hey, what's going on everyone? I'm the OP Jellicent, and I'm here today to build a team around Mega Venusaur for the Smogon OU tier. Then we'll be hopping on the ladder, testing out the team, making any changes to it that we do feel are necessary, and the final team will be down below in the description for all of you to try out on the ladder. So let's just go ahead and dive right in right here. So Mega Venusaur, I think fits a lot better on more like balance or bulky offensive sort of builds. Doesn't really have a place on stall because you kind of need Mega Sableye. I don't like stall anyway, and it's definitely not super offensively geared, so definitely balance is the best playstyle for Mega Venusaur right here. Standard EV spread off of Smogon right here, 16 in speed. You could actually put 20 here in here to out actually outspeed other Mega Venusaurs, but it's not really that common of a mon anyway, so you can just leave the 16. And then uh, Leech Seed, Sludge Bomb Synthesis, and Hidden Power Fire. You can actually go with Giga Drain over Leech Seed if in case you do want a more offensive form of recovery. I think Leech Seed is great just to be able to 1v1 things like Chansey. Because you'll be getting so much health back every turn due to the high HP stat on Chansey. So Leech Seed is a great idea. And then obviously Sludge Bomb Synthesis for recovery and HP Fire. Now uh, definitely it's great at taking on Electro-type Pokemon. But it really struggles against like... Flying type and psychic type Pokemon, I guess. So, definitely steel type Pokemon are really nicely paired with Mega Venusaur right here. So, I think the best options are either Heatran, Jirachi, or Celesteela. Now, the former of the two provide rocks, which is definitely very cool. Celesteela can use a Leech Seed, though, and you kind of have double Leech Seed to wear the opponent's team down. That's definitely a cool idea as well. I think we can fit rocks on later, and let's just go ahead and add Celesteela right now. I think this this pairing for balance, Mega Venusaur plus Celesteela, is really nice. So, Let's go with the leftovers right here with Heavy Slam, Leech Seed. I guess we'll go with uh, Flamethrower and Protect for now. I believe this is pretty standard. I might be missing some crucial move, but um, I don't have Celesteel EV spreads memorized. I believe it's 168 and then 88 in defense. I'll, I'll get the EV spread double checked, but I'm pretty sure this might be corrected right here. Let's go with minus speed since we have attacks on both the special and physical ends right here. So. Uh, definitely really like this pairing right here. The problem is they're both kind of worn down by hazards, like rocks really can make a lot of Pokemon, like Choice Band Zygarde, for example, or Hoopa, be able to knock out these Pokemon in one hit, so I think some form of hazard control could be very good for us right here. What can offer that? I mean, we already have a Steel type, and Excadrill, I feel, is a too offensive on one option anyway. We could go with, like, well, Tell us, uh, Cartana would be the same thing, too offensive, I already have a Steel type. What's a good option? Skarmory is definitely overlaps with Celesteela, never mind. Feeny is a good option right here. I guess Feeny or Rotomoa should be our best bets. Both bulky water types that, I guess, uh, even though we have two electric weaknesses, Mega Venusaur can easily cover those. Switch into stuff like Coco. I don't think Z Fly Coco with the Brave Bird is actually a set anymore. So let's go with Feeny right here. And I believe we're just going to go with the standard max HP, max speed right here. Put the 4 and spit F. And this will be our defogger for the team. And I think... Definitely, hazards are great to make sure that Mega Venusaur doesn't have to continuously spam synthesis, since you do actually have limited power points. You only have 8 synthesis per battle, so that's definitely very important. We'll go with the lefties on here, too, with the Moonblast. Nature's Madness, Taunt, and Defog is definitely the best set right here. We do need the Defog, so unfortunately we can't run Water Stab, but... Yeah, this, this core right here is really great. I would love to add a Fire type to kind of complete the whole Fire, Water, Grass thing we have going on right here, but... It's not really that necessary. We could actually go with Heatran over Celesteela. That actually looks really solid right here. I really want to try Celesteela, though. I use Heatran a lot. We'll go with Celesteela right here, and we'll figure something else out. I would love to have some sort of offensive presence on the team, because really strong bull uh, wall breakers will actually break through these very easily. The most notable one being Hoopa and Bound with, like, Gunk Shot and Hyperspace Fury. So I'm thinking maybe, like... A Zygarde could be good. Does Zygarde actually outspeed Hoopa if it is um, adamant? So adamant Zygarde reaches, I think it's 295, right? 289, okay. And does Jolly Hoopa reach 289? I believe it's 284 on Hoopa. 259 to 284, yeah. So we can actually run adamant Zygarde. I think Banded Zygarde is really good right here. Just to be able to wall break other offensive wall breakers that are on the slower side. As well as other bulkier teams as well. Band Zygarde is really nice right here now that I look at it. So let's go ahead and do that. Thousand arrows. Actually, this is kind of sketchy too because we have Misty Terrain, and I'm probably I'm probably gonna want to want to run Outrage on this set right here. Do I think that's a big deal? Not really. I mean, I can just maneuver to the point where Feeny's not in when I have the uh, Zygarde. The Misty Terrain's not up when I have Zygarde in. So and we can add another Tapu later if we do feel 
as though we, de we see the misty terrain being a problem, but let's go with this right now. We will go with Outrage, Extreme Speed, and Toxic or Iron Tail. I feel like Iron Tail could be good for Bulu. Uh, but Mega Venusaur, like, kind of destroys Bulu. Celesteela kind of deals with it, too. Let's go with the Toxic right here. And then, obviously, uh, Max Attack Adamant right here. Put the 4 in the Spit F stat. And I think this is a really great offensive wall breaker on a more balanced team so far. I, I like the idea. Two slots left. We still need our own hazards. And I feel like another Tapu could be a good bet. Either Tapu Coco or Tapu Lele, because the... We don't have any priority. Actually, Tapu Lele would be a problem, too, because of the extreme speed. We couldn't use that under Psychic Terrain. So I feel like Tapu Coco is the only other Tapu we could add to kind of help out with the whole Misty Terrain thing. I don't know. We'll come back to that right now. But for now, let's look for a Stealth Rocker, which I know I want to add. I mean, Defensive Lando is right there. It really fits on balance, too. I feel like there's no reason not to go with Defensive Lando, but let's see if there's any other cooler options. We could go with the Rocks of Gliscor with, like, a U-turn. I feel like Lando just does the bad job better, though. Uh, Chansey, I don't want to use Chansey. Ferrothorn, we already have Celesteel on the team. Garchomp, would be a cool offensive rocker instead of running the Zygarde, but... Then I feel like the type of Fini just really messes that up. Yeah, let's go ahead and go with Lando T right here. Defensive Lando T, really nice. It's kind of a staple on balance from what I've seen, to be honest. Let's go with... I believe we spare 24? No, we just put... We spare 16, is I believe what we do. And to go with this. So, since we're running balance, not that. Okay, let's go with minus special attack. Since we're running balance, I think I'm actually going to go with leftovers for the more reliable recovery. I usually run helmet, but I think keeping Lando alive is more valuable. So, let's go with stealth rock right here. Earthquake, hidden power, ice, and U turn. And this also kind of provides me a Zygarde check. Like, Figgy Berry Dragon Knight Zygarde right here with the coil is definitely looking like a problem. Lando just he can help out with that now. Do I care about the minus special attack? Will it matter against that Zygarde spread? Zygarde. Offensive Dragon Dance. Double Dance. That's, I believe, the spread. 160 28 against Lander's T. Are you defensive? Do this run. Spit, uh, they do not run minus special attack, so it could matter, but we could also just knock them into range of Barry and 3 hit KO them. I think, I think minus special attack is fine, and. Last spot right here. I think I will go Coco. It provides me a secondary defogger. We could run Z move on it. We don't have a Z Mon yet. I think Coco is really good right here. Let's go with Coco. We can change Coco for something else in case we do see the dual terrain being a problem. But uh, we will go with this set right here with the defog. Uh, we'll go with Thunderbolt, U turn, and Roost. This is the defog pivot set. So backup defogger just in case Feeny gets worn down too easily. We're really weak to opposing choice band Zagard. But then again, what balance team isn't? Okay, I believe we run 216. Now we go with Max and this, and we run 216 speed as I believe the spread. And then we run like 28 here, and then the two remaining 12 in HP, I believe. Now it can't be that because we have an even HP stat now. I guess it must be 8 and 32. Okay, so this looks right. I'll get the EV spread double checked on this on the Celesteela. Of course, and uh, I think the Lando is correct already, so I, I won't have to worry about that. And uh, let me just make sure that I used all the EVs, correct natures. Uh, four moves on everything. Okay, I think we look good right here, so I'll get these couple EV spreads double-checked, and I'll be right back with our first game. Alright, I got our first game right here. We're battling against a pretty offensive team on my opponent's end right here. This is Volcarona as a threat, in fact, if it's Boginium Z, I might end up losing to it if it has Gigi Drain as well, but... He has no, like, pretty much no Zagard switch-ins, which is really good for me. In fact, I kind of just want to lead off with it, but I feel like he'll lead Lottie. So, uh, predicting the Lottie lead right here, I'm actually just going to go ahead and lead off with my Celesteela. As he does lead off with the Lottie, okay? So this gives me a free lead sheet, pretty much. And uh, I'm just going to go ahead and click that. He goes Tox Specs, which makes sense. We do hit, which is cool, and I'm just going to go ahead into my Tapu Fini right here. Really can't allow T-Specs to go up. I mean, I could go Venusaur. Doubles out to Zagard. This is totally fine. In fact, I'll, I'll just go for Nature's Madness here, because he's going to go Zapdos, yeah. So as much as I know the Roost is coming, I really can't stand. So let's just go out here into my, my Tapu Koko right now, which can Roost off any damage he wants to do. Go with Cortana. Do I live with Scarf Leaf Blade? Cortana? I feel like I will from full. Coco? Oh, you offensive pivot. I will level Leaf Blade. I'm just going to T-Bolt right here. He goes for knockoff, and I am Z-move, so... We get rid of the Cartana. No, never mind. We don't get rid of the Cartana. 
Well, we know he's Scarf, so I can just go for a U-turn here on the incoming Zygarde. So I should have dropped the Z-move right there, because Cortana's still out there right now. But uh, right here, I can just go Landorus and get up my rocks. I mean, I know for a fact Zapdos is coming out. I'm going to do it anyway, and then I'm going to go for the... Go with Hard Volcarona. So unless he's Fire EMZ, he won't knock me out, and I need this damage for my Zygarde anyway. So let's go ahead and Earthquake this. Yeah, that, that's extreme speed range, and I can just go ahead and Earthquake again here. And yeah, we'll live that attack easily. So now the only problem with it, he just goes and forfeits. Yeah, we're able to win that game right there. Uh, he, I think he played his Volcarona way too prematurely. I don't really get what he did right there, but the Zygarde could have actually been a problem. Not quite sure what set it was, but we're able to go ahead and win, and I'll be right back with another game. All right, I got another game right here. Once again, very, very, very weak to my Banded Zygarde. I just need to predict this Tapu Bulu coming in once and go for the Iron Tail, but uh, Tapu Koko is a great lead right here. He leads off with his Mega Medicham, which is not a big deal. I'm just going to switch out to Celesteela here on the Fake Out. Because I'm sure he won't high jump kick, right? Yeah, there's the fake out. Now, I feel like uh, he's not going to knock me out anyway. So let's just go ahead and... Let's go for protect on the off chance he wants to go for high jump kick. As he does go for the high jump kick, which is cool. We got a lot of damage off. Uh, do I need this for anything in particular? I need it for McGear now, so... Let's... What what mod do I not need? Defensive Lando? Yeah, Lando's not very good right here. He actually switches out to Tran, which is great for me. How much do I care about hazards? Kind of do care about them. Let's go for rocks. I feel like he'll go Zapdos. Yeah, I think Zapdos is a great option for him right here. Which is kind of why I want a U-turn, but yeah, he goes Zapdos. But if he stayed in, I mean, well, I guess I, I forced the U-turn right now anyway, but I risk getting static paralyzed. Uh, let's go Coco here. And he goes for HP Ice. Uh, glad I didn't go Zagard. So the problem is my terrain is gone right now, so I gotta go for the U-turn here. And I guess I can just bring in Zagard now, he's Helmet. On a Roost. And uh, now I just get to click that. I don't have Iron Tail, never mind. I thought I did. Do I want to make this Iron Tail? I mean, it's good against Tapu Ulu. I guess we'll go ahead and do that. Might as well make it Sludge Wave at that point, but... Okay, so he gives me the damage, which is cool. To get the HP Ice off. I'll click it again right here. He goes Tapu Ulu. So um, the reason I did that is because I'm going to get Terrain Recovery here anyway, which is great. And yeah, that's not bad damage. So, uh, like I said, Landorus is like probably the most expendable mon right here. So, he goes for SD. Interesting. Okay. I guess I'll U-turn to Celesteela now. Oh, he, he did he did something very not, not smart. <laughs> Alright, so what I think I'm going to do right here is go Tapu Koko. And I just hope he chokes and thinks he can live a hit, and then I go for Giga Voltavic and knock him out. Because he doesn't have a switch in anyway. And Thunderbolt's going to do a ton of work after this, so... This is probably a smart play right here, because it kind of just knocks out whatever comes in after. So uh, this should knock out the Tapu Bulu without an issue. Yeah, and the plus 3 Tapu Bulu just goes down, which is amazing. Still no Mega Venusaur action, though. I really want to get that mon in. The reason I didn't go to Mega Venus right there is because I was afraid of a Z-move. Did he show leftovers? I don't know, but I can U-turn here and bring in my... My type of Fini is not a, not a great play, actually. Uh, I feel like I just go back to Lando every time. Gets up his own rocks, okay. I'll just go for a U-turn here. Is that Fire Name Z? Does that knock me out in one? No, it doesn't, but I didn't Earthquake, so... Uh, I die on entry. That's pretty terrible. It's fine, though, because I gotta kill with Zygarde right now, and his Tepa Bulu is dead, so he doesn't have a switch into this. So he knows my play is Thousand Arrows, that's what I'm clicking. Should knock out Medicham, it'll definitely knock out Zapdos, which is, I'm assuming, what his sack of choice will be. And then he goes, what, Keldeo after? Uh, losing Lando like that sucks. I'm surprised he made that play, but... It actually gives me Tran instead of Zapdos, okay. So Medicham or Keldeo is right, or his plays right here. Okay, out comes Medicham. Sack Lando. I jump kick. I also found that interesting, how when your target's gone, you don't take 50%, but... I mean, I'm pretty sure we leave a bullet punch from 47, so I'll just go out into this right here. Go right for uh, the Thunderbolt. Oh, it was hard McGear now. Wasn't this your win con? <laughs> oh, no, never mind. It's AV. Okay. 
So I'll just go for U-turn here. We can finally get in my, my Venusaur on the Volt Switch. So Mega Metachamp's about to come back out. I need Mega Venusaur though. I mean, this thing has a limited switch into the Metachamp anyway, so. Let's just sack off Celesteela here. On the Zen Headbutt. And I'll just go for Heavy Slam here, expecting some sort of weird play. Okay, go Zapdos. Can this roost on me? Uh, I think it can, which is really bad, actually. Okay, let's get a Leech off here. Okay, that's not a big deal. He's gonna roost again, so let's just go Coco. And then I can get a roost off of my own. I doubt you would Heat Wave here, right? You roost again. Yeah, okay. Kind of got scared. So we get recovery, and uh, I can just go ahead and roost up. Because I think he'll go Magirna again. Yeah, okay, so out comes Magirna. Uh, I'm pretty sure I live anything, so I'm just going to go for Thunderbolt here. Weaken him a little bit more. Goes for Flare Cannon. Yeah, as I said, I will be able to live that, and now I can just roost off this damage. Which, uh, without an issue, which is cool. Is he Scarf Kelio? Goes for Iron Head. Uh, that shouldn't matter. I just roost up again every time. Goes for Volt. So this is the turn Train's going down, which is smart for him. Out comes Mega Metacham. That's interesting, because I don't think this knocks me out with Fake Out into Bullet Punch. Yeah, I live, and... Zapdos should go down on entry from from two of them, so that should be good. Magirna will go down to two. Gives me a meta jam. Okay, so that's great. And at this point, he's just going to go ahead and forfeit. Yeah, so we'll drop a GG right there. He didn't have a way to break through Mega Venus or at that point. It would have come out and just won. Unfortunately, I didn't get to show that off, but it would have been pretty stally anyway. But we're able to go ahead and pick up that win, and I'll be right back with another game. All right, I got another game right here. Once again, Band Zygarde is great. Same with Coco, but... My balance core is really going to struggle in this game, breaking through his. Yeah, because Mega Venusaur is really pressured by Torn. It deals with a lot of other stuff though, but it could also be like a Rocky Helmet Torn plus Fly Z Lando. And it could be Mega Scissor, uh, SD Mega Scissor too. But we do have HP Fire, which I think could end up being useful here. So his, his best lead's probably Torn right here, so I'll lead Coco. Are we good? Oh, that's even better, okay. Uh, I'll just go for the Thunderbolt turn one. Goes for Protect. I mean, U-Turn is a very safe play because he'll switch out. And even if he stays in, I just go Feeny, so. I'm able to get out of there. Let's see if he's Helmet. We don't see Helmet, okay. My, my own rocks would be great, but if he gets them up, that's kind of bad. How does he break Celesteela now that I look at it? Let's go Celesteela right here. Scout for Smackdown or Gravity. Go for Leech Seed right here. We'll be able to wear something down right now. He could go Scissor to pivot. I don't think that's a smart play because I could just Flamethrower and go off a Choke right here. I feel like his play is either Suicune or Torn. Torn to knock Suicune so he can, I guess, sub. I don't know what Suicune would do. But every, I'm pretty sure Feeny 1v1 Suicune. So I'm assuming Torn's about to come out, yeah. So I get my Leech Seed off. I'll be able to wear this down right now. Go for Protect right here, wear him down a little bit more. I know he gets it back with Regenerator, but... Uh, now I'll go Venusaur. Actually, that's a bad play. But I don't want anything else getting knocked, that's the problem. I, mean, I guess my Coco doesn't get knocked. Okay, so he knows I'm Z Coco. Let's go for a U-turn here on the incoming Ferrothorn. Do I just start firing off Thousand Arrows with Zagard here? Could be a good idea. Because the scissor is not mega evolved yet, and I don't know if it's defensive or not, but... Yeah, I'm going to Thousand Arrows here, and see how much we do. Hopefully it 2 it KOs Ferrothorn if he stays in. I feel like he'll go Lando, yeah. And But the good thing is, uh, Lando versus Scissor, or... The other thing is, uh, damage on Lando is permanent. Okay, so he does show leftovers. I get to stay in again, like... Continue to weaken him. He gets up rocks. Now he's going to go, what, Scissor or... Suicune, so I can just go Venusaur here. You could go Ferrothorn again, I guess. C 
could also go Lando. But I feel like uh, if I go Lando, then I'm not going to get my rocks up because Suicune or Scissor is going to win. HP Ice. Okay. I mean, I'll just Mega Evolve and go for Synthesis. Goes for U-Turn. Yeah, this is why Hazards are really bad for Venusaur right here. Because he gets to go Torn now, and I'm forced to Synthesis, so it really sucks. But I guess I can just go back to Coco here. On the Hurricane. Just defog these away right now. On the, really, here is that? Okay. Back to Lando. Well, we know this is defensive. Has he seen my entire set? He saw Defog Roost. Yeah, he saw my entire set. Okay, so this is fine. I think I'm going to make the Celesteela play this time, because I didn't last time, and it was really costly. So let's do this. Let's go for a Flamethrower here. Actually, let's just go for... Let's go for Leech Sheet, expecting Torn again. I guess I'll Flamethrower. It doesn't really matter. I should have stayed in... Well, actually, if I'd stayed in with Zygarde on the Lando the third time, I would have taken an HP Ice, and... Would I have been healthy enough to take that attack? I would have, but... I, f I really thought Scissor or Suicune were coming out right there. But I, I think Flamethrower here is fine. I feel like he'll expect some sort of, maybe... Overprediction, and I go for Leech Sheet. Yeah, okay. So we get 50% off on a Leech Sheet of his own. So here I'll just go Venusaur on the Protect. I'll go for, a, I guess, a Leech Sheet here, right? Or I can just go for HP Fire, actually. Or I go for Sludge Bomb. Like, what's he gonna do? In, what's, what's he staying in for? <laughs> I just click Sludge Bomb here. I could potentially poison Suicune, which if it is uh, the sub Scald Protect Suicune, then the, the Sludge Bomb would be really great. What's that set called? Vincune? I know Crocune is sub Sleep Top Combine Scald. No, not sub. Um, rest. Okay, so he's gonna do that. Ghost Torn now. It plays always back to Coco. Goes for U turn, okay. Out comes Ferrothorn. Alright, I, I don't want to take more damage, so I'm just going to go hard Venusaur. Uh, that did some damage. I'll synthesize here. Synthesis. <laughs> what, would you, what, what, what do you say? You, I will synthesize here or I'll synthesis here? Okay, so go back to Torn every time. Uh, I'm going to make a prediction and go for HP Fire. On Ferrothorn, yeah. I knew I had to pull, this, pull the trigger eventually. I'll go for HP Fire here. Now I'll Sludge Bomb on the incoming Torn again. Yeah, okay, so hopefully we can nail this Poison, which I really need. We do get the Poison, sweet. And uh, now I go Coco on the Hurricane. Now you're really going for U-Turn again, okay. Fairy Thorn. I feel like I'll double. Now I'll just Gyro Balls, okay. Alright, I'm going to Synthesis here. Okay, so he's just going for the Spikes now. I'm going to do this again. Goes Landorus this time, okay. I know Landorus can't break me. So I'll do this again right here. Let's go Torn or Ferrothorn. Goes back to Torn, okay. Uh, this is pretty frustrating. I'm just going to switch out here into Celesteela. On a Hurricane. Throw off, uh, I guess, a Flamethrower here is fine. This game might end up being pretty long. So, yeah, I was risking the knock right there for sure, but... Caldeo, okay. So, it's probably Scarf, I guess. Let's Protect here. On a Scald. Let's go Venusaur now. Actually, I think I want to get Infini, because it covers some doubles, and... Honestly, I think that's a good play. Because he'll either go Torn right here, which I'm really glad I got the Poison on Torn. That's going to be, be great to wear it down. Could go Lando. I think I can take on Lando from 46. So he's probably locked in, I think. Okay, goes for Scald again. Oh, I get to crit. That's probably Specs, I think. But I'll just go for the Defog here. On the incoming Ferrothorn. Always back to Venusaur. Don't want to take a Gyro Ball with Feeny. The crit definitely sucks. Okay, I'll Sludge Bomb here. Hell Synthesis, okay. He's just going all in. 
Okay. And he doesn't have a reason to stand anymore. Coco can't come back in. It's a crit hurricane. I really need him to stop critting me. Okay, so Solo Steel can fire off an attack now, which is cool. I'll go for the lead sheet here. On the incoming Ferrothorn, okay. Flamethrower here. I need to defog again. Which might end up being kind of tough. Flamethrower, he goes for lead sheet, okay. Let's do this and start firing off another thousand arrows. Because this is getting really frustrating, I just want to start breaking things down. Yeah, so he gives me Lando finally, which I'm sure he'll switch out, but I'm not over-predicting. Yeah, out comes Suicune. Okay, he goes for Scald here. No, oh, doubles out, okay. So once again, I need to get this play correctly. Is he going- he's going to go Torn, I think, but... I'll go for Sludge Bomb. Because Torn is weakened. Yeah, look at that. Torn's at- the Torn's gonna be pretty low after this. Yeah, and I get that right again. He needed a hurricane right there, I think. Uh, go for Sludge Bomb here. It's always my play. What does he have, Rorcoon? Uh, nope. Yeah, okay. I mean, I, I gotta keep doing this because I need to try to get the, the plates correct. Okay, goes Caldea, we poison that too, which is cool. I'll cook this again here. Okay, now I'll switch out, expecting the hurricane this time. What's he trying to get in safely? With the U-turn. Goes for hurricane, okay, good. As now what I can do is just go for the the flamethrower here. As I'm expecting uh, probably Ferrothorn, just not sweeping basically. Is what I'm expecting right here. We already have damage on Keldeo, so if that comes out, it'll take damage. Landorus should go down, I think. Yeah, maybe. Scissor, okay. What did he click? Knockoff? Okay, that's a little bit bad. It's not that bad, though. Scissor was annoying, and we just got rid of it. Wasn't expecting knockoff, though, that's the thing. So I can protect here, he knows I can. Now I just go back to Venusaur every time. On that, go for Synthesis here. Yeah, this is kind of how balance has to play, which, as much as I hate it, it's just what you gotta do. Okay, I, I, Solo Steel is pretty expendable now. Okay, he goes for that. Do I still have my Z-move? I forgot whether I burnt it or not. I think I still might still have it. Hurricane, okay. He actually has Heat Wave, okay, that's interesting. Okay, I do stay in. I still do I still do have my Z move, good. So I can roost here. Or just defog everything away. Is that a good play? No, let's roost. I feel like if I roost, I'll beat him in the long game with this. Goes for U-turn. Back to Pharaoh. Always back to Venusaur. Oh, I get to crit there, that's kind of bad. I'm not going to risk him going for another Gyro Ball, though. The problem is my Hurricane switch-ins are slowly running out. Maybe I should just try to defog. Ah, uh, this is tough. Okay, let's... We're out, we're out of Synthesis, too, so I'm just going to sludge bomb here. He knows I'm out of Synthesis. I'll just go all in with the Venusaur and see how it works out. Because I feel like he might over-predict. Okay, so... We nearly trade. You can go for a U-turn here, and I die on entry. I'll let it go down. Oh, we didn't go down. Cool. Okay, so Ferrothorn comes out, right? Sweet No, okay. Let's try to poison it. It's worth a shot. Okay. He's gonna try to sub on me. I'm out of those now, so I kind of have to switch out here. Into my Feeny. On the sub. There's a defog here. I need to get rid of these hazards. These are really frustrating. 
Yeah, it sucks that my Mega Venusaur lost like all its power points. I need to try to make sure this Torn doesn't come back in and U-turn. Because it's going to be at, what, 30%? I don't think I can do it safely. Did we never disable enable timer? We did. Okay, good. Alright, let's see what he wants to do right here. Alright, I think I'll go for another two minutes and then I'll cut to the result. Because I don't want the entire video to be this one. So, let's go for defog here. On the calm mind. Go for Moonblast here, just spam it until I break. Because all I need to do is make sure that I can get in Coco and fire off my Z move. Calm Mind again, I can taunt here. On the sub, go for Nature's Madness. On a Scald Burn, not a big deal, I'll just spam this. Because he, uh, the only thing he can do is Scald, so out comes Ferrothorn. Which at this point, I'm just going to take the damage off on it. Goes for that, okay. I'll click Moonblast here. I feel like I'll try to Hurricane Confuse or something. But we have everything super weak now, so it'll get to the point where Extreme Speed's going to sweep him. Goes for that. We got rid of Torn, cool. Okay, so no more Coco switchings either, and I still have Roost on that, so that's good. Out comes this taunt here on. I was assuming it's gonna be like a spike. Just goes for Gyro Ball, okay? So Bandit Zagard gets to come out now and claim another kill, which is cool. So I click Thousand Arrows on the Lando Sack, cool. That's fine. Suicune comes out. I just click Thousand Arrows again, I think. He, just, he can't sub, yeah. Okay, I can Thousand Arrows again now. Okay. I'll just go Lando and spam EQ and then try to bring in my Coco safely. Tries to confuse me. He's faster than me, which is interesting, but... I don't believe this will end up mattering. I guess he's trying to go for the 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 sweep with He burnt me, okay. I think he's gonna go for the Kelio sweep. I go not I don't go down to burn because I got lefties first. Okay, let's go for EQ here. I wanna calm mind. Okay, this is getting annoying. Let's make sure this thing dies on entry. That's a, switch. That's a choke if I go Coco, I think. That's like the one play I can't make. Go Coco. <laughs> I just stand and spam EQ. Because he can't beat me if I do that. Okay, now this is a problem. I'm out of EQs. Because of pressure. That's why this is doing so much. Let's go for U-turn again. Get in Coco. Go right for Thunderbolt. I think Thund Thunderbolt plus Rax will knock out Ferrothorn. Anyway, Thunderbolt's my play here. This thing's not going to get to set up again, so I think he'll just sack it off. It's probably the longest game I've ever recorded for my channel. Okay, it goes for that. I'll just U-turn out here. I need the damage anyway. I don't think the, the Suicune can come back in. Goes for Elite Sheed. Hit and power that. And at this point, uh, Bandit Zagard wins with E-Speed. Can't sub. So I'll just click Lead Sheet here until... He needs a lot of Protect, basically, or a miss. Which even then, I don't think it'll be enough. Okay, yeah, we're recovering now. He's gonna go out and forfeit, so finally that game's over. Drop a GG, I guess. We're able to go ahead and pick up that win, and I'll be right back with another game. Alright, so that last game was 17 minutes, so this one's going to be our last one right here. Should be uh, very interesting and very weak to Zagard at my opponent's end right here. He has, like, a lot of Pokemon that are weak to it and not really many resistances. Uh, I think I'll probably lead off with, with Coco here. 
As he leads off with Alolan Persian. So I don't know whether there's a Scarf or not, but I'm just gonna go for U-Turn. Uh, if he stays in, I'm assuming a Parting Shot or Knockoff is gonna come out, and I can go... Okay, so he switches out. I'm surprised he would switch that in, so he risks my Electrium Z. I'm gonna U-Turn out of here and bring in... What does Dusknoir do? <laughs> I'm just gonna get up rocks, man. Does it get Magicoat? I feel like it might get Magicoat. Let's go for rocks here. I don't care if you will wisp this mon. Ice Punch, okay. No, oh, that's pretty bad. Because now Zapdos is- I have, to, I, make a, I have to make a double here on the Zapdos instead of U-turning, which sucks. Okay, let's try to go Coco on the Zapdos. Yeah, that's what I have to do. And... I'm just gonna drop the Z-move here. I feel like he won't go Zygarde. Even because he's already- because he knows that I know he has it. He just goes Zygarde anyway, okay. So rip the Z-move, but uh, the good thing is Zapdos is very weak now, so I can just go for U-turn here. He's trying to defog, so I need to, to I, need, I need to pivot around to prevent that from happening. That uh, sucks that he went Zagar though. That was pretty big. Goes back to Dusk Noir. Risks the Electrium, which he already knew I had. Okay, let's go Feeny here, and let's go for the the Moonblast. He can't status me under terrain. Okay, so I click Moonblast. He goes for what? Rock Tomb. Interesting. Let's go for Nature's Madness here. I feel like I'll outspeed the Zapdos. Uh, unfortunately, I miss. I'm not getting very lucky this game. What is Dusknoir's defense stat? Because if it's not super physically defensive, I might just go Zagard. Dusk Noir, base 135. Why isn't this mine used more? <laughs> What's holding it back? Okay, so we also weaken me for some sort of sweep. Is he faster than me at this point? Goes for that. I'm gonna taunt here. Expecting either Zapdos or a stay in play. Goes a little in mock as we taunt that, okay. So here I can just switch out. I guess into my frozen lander. This is the best bet. As much as it hates to, as much as I hate to admit that. Goes for knockoff. I'm gonna double to my banded Zagard here, expecting the Zapdos to come out to defog this away. Yeah. Okay. So we get that right. I think Thousand Arrow should knock this out. This is a shiny, shiny Zapdos, right? I can never tell the difference between this shiny and regular Zapdos. It's so subtle, but this should kill it. Oh, never mind. And he gets the D5. Okay, so now I have the Thousand Arrows. I guess his best switch in would be sacking Dusk Noir or going Persian. How much would Persian take? I don't really know too much about that one. I need to prevent this from roosting, or I need to get my rocks again. But my rocker is frozen. So that's kind of bad in itself. Goes Persian. Let's see if this can take this hit well. Doesn't really want to take that. So I need to make a play that prevents Zapdos from defogging, which is only Coco. It's either Coco or stay in. Toxic, that's annoying. Hmm. Okay, let's go for U turn here. On either Zapdos, or Dusk Noir, or Zagard coming in, I'm assuming. But eventually, Zagard should be able to break this team down, I think. Sex off Zapdos, okay. I guess what I can do is just go Zagard here, because it kind of forces him to not switch out. So I'll just go for Thousand Arrows again. And he doesn't have a Thousand Arrows switch in, unless he wants to go out into his own Zagard. He's gonna do that, okay. To preserve the 2% Zapdos. Let's see if Venusaur can deal with this. I doubt he would be sub-DD on this type of team. It's probably more of that Figgy Berry Coil set. Oh, he's lefties, never mind. It's not Figgy Berry, but... So this is interesting, because... I'm pretty sure I live a hit, and I can go for Sludge Bomb here. What do I need this for? Nothing, really. Let's try that. I feel like he'll try to go for the... The kill, and I'll live. Unless he has Psychic and not Psyshock. Actually, it shouldn't matter. Ghost Persian, actually. This can't beat me, can it? Oh, we just knock it out. Cool. I guess he expected a double, but... I, I know I can take any one hit from Gardevoir, I'm pretty sure. Which is probably coming right back out. 
to be honest. Yeah. Out comes Gardevoir. I guess I'll go Celesteela this time. On a Sash Shock. Is it a regular? Yeah, I'll go for Heavy Slam here. He can try to go Zapdos and Static Para, I guess. Or he can sack something, then go Zapdos and Roost. Which is kind of what I'm expecting him to do, but... Goes Mach, okay. Gets a Figgy Berry, so it's a Recycle, I think. Let's go for Leech Seed here. Actually, there's no reason to do that. Let's just go... It doesn't really matter. Goes for Curse. Okay, there's a win. I don't know, but let's go Zygarde here and throw off a Banded Arrows. Because even if he knocks them off, like, nothing's switching in at this point. Yeah, it goes for the knockoff that turn. I'm pretty sure Thousand Arrows will still knock him out, if not put him in range of... Oh, he can't recycle now. I'm pretty sure we're allowed to speed his Zygarde because he appears to be a bulky variant because he has leftovers. Gardevoir will get to it KO'd. Ah, uh, we just miss out. He tries to go for the Poison Jab Poison, really? You don't have like, anything else to hit me? You can't go for double knock? Okay, so here there goes a uh, Gardevoir here, which I guess he just didn't Mega Evolve earlier. Or he goes Zygarde, yeah. I'm just gonna Outrage. Is that a good play? Because it kind of wins after Gardevoir takes the damage. But then again, so does Tapu Koko. I guess. Let's Outrage here. I'll knock that out. And then he, he has to go guard over here to knock me out. But he's not going to do that apparently. I don't know why, but he's going to give me this instead. Let me check this guy's rating. Popping Golo. 1596. He's played a lot of games. Okay. Did I get paralyzed? I did. Okay, that's unfortunate. So unless this somehow gets a speed boost, which I don't think it can. Yeah, he didn't Mega Evolve earlier. So I'll just go Celesteela here, click Heavy Slam, and uh, win the game, I think. Because there's no way Gardevoir can knock me out unless it goes for T-Bolt and paralyzes. Uh, that won't matter. Hopefully I kill. I do, we both go down. Now I go Coco and win. Because he can't Shadow Sneak Sweep me or anything. So I guess I'll get the GG ready. Go for T-Bolt. He can't outspeed me, even if he's Scarf, it can't reach my speed tier. Go for Shadow Sneak, yeah, so I'll drop a GG, and that's going to be the game. Did hope you guys enjoyed, I believe we won all four matches, only four games, because of that one 17 minute one, but, yeah, I definitely enjoyed using Mega Venusaur a lot. Highly recommend you guys try out this team, it was a ton of fun to use, a little bit more of a different play style and balance, and yeah, I'll see you all next time. Later.